What's up guys? How's it going? This is Easy Things to Draw. Today we're going to go over how to draw a um, the blue shell from Mario Kart. You know, the one that uh, kind of kills you from behind. You know, it always, uh, when you shoot it off in Mario Kart, it basically goes to whoever in first place and kind of blows them up. And it really screws you up. But uh, it's really fun. Really fun game. Anywho. Let me kind of go over this. I'm going to go over the tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a regular pencil. It doesn't matter what kind, just uh, as long as it's a something to kind of put down the land lines in. And then there's the eraser. Sorry about that. that was a little, uh, this is the gum eraser. We're going to be using a Copic marker. I'm going to be using a T8. I'm just trying to replicate a black, you know, honestly. And then there's, uh, we're going to be using three colored uh, pencils here. Using navy blue, black, and yellow, and cream. So that's going to be what we're using. And uh, so let's kind of get into it. I'm going to start with a pencil first. So when I'm using this pencil, uh, I'm going to be thinking, obviously, when you think about the shell, I'm thinking of a circle. I'm doing it very light. Hopefully, you can kind of see it on camera. It's because eventually these lines are going to go away. Uh, circle. I like to think of when I'm thinking of the shell. It's kind of a very cartoony shell, you know. I almost think of it like a tube wrapped around a ball. This tube kind of goes around the corner here, and it goes around this other corner. But it's very tube-like. This structure on the side. It's a little bit bigger as well. I think I didn't make it big enough. The shell itself is not totally round. It has a small peak over here. And then... Uh, and right here is a... Kind of the opening of the shell, you know what I mean? Because we're talking about, like, you know, a discarded turtle shell. And... It has a lip to it on that opening. I'm being pretty messy right now, just kind of being regardless, because I'm pretty. I know I'm gonna erase these. Maybe even I'm even a little bit too dark. Let me see how it's fitting into the page. And I'm gonna throw, throw the wing shape here. The wing isn't totally attached; doesn't insert into the shell at all. It is kind of just around there. It kind of hangs over the little lip of the turtle shell. We'll probably go with these uh, like as I'm uh, putting in the marker as well, by the way. Throwing in a shot, uh, shape over there for that shell. That's, I'm sorry, for that wing. Spike. Spike over here on this side, and spike over here, and another spike on the far end. I, you know, it's pointing right at me. I start to draw a circle at a point. See, I'm doing it very messy right now. Uh, I'm not even really caring. Just kind of get like general proportion down. That's really what I want. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw these little fingers, little finger shapes, into the sides as well. So that would be my bare proportions. I'm gonna grab this paper, slide it underneath the other paper. This is regular paper, by the way. This is not tracing paper at all. And then I can kind of see it through there. That's what I want. I want to kind of be able to see it. You can't really see it at all on camera, but I can see it. Uh, I'm going to take the marker now, and uh, I'm going to start tracing it out, what I did. And I'm going to do more definitive lines. I'm going to do the start with that tube-like structure. Of the lip of the opening 
of the turtle shell. Start at the bottom of the turtle shell, of the Koopa shell, the blue shell. And it's going to be the opening here. I didn't put that in there before. It's going to be opening for the, the side of the arm, you know. Again, it's a discarded shell. And uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find something that kind of pops out, which would be the spike. It's, you got to think of the shapes that are coming forward. You know, you don't want to throw a marker shape over a shape that's coming forward because you got to, you know, you want, it'll have this line through it. And you don't want that. Spike that's in the far end, and the spike that's kind of toward the front. And that wing shape, drawing it up. It's actually more over that way, but I decided to change it. I throw things down again so that I can kind of correct myself as I'm going along through it, as I see it. It'll be for corrections pretty much through the whole thing as you're kind of looking at it. Now, you know, more or less. Little fingers, very, very simple shapes. Far on the far wing, and I am going to look at the pattern of the shell. It has these octagon type patterns on it, or hexagon? I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I did this with the other video too, with the other shell. I can't remember what shape this is. <coughs> I think they're hexagons, but you can't really see them super well on this particular shell, you know, uh, draw lines toward the bottom, you can be thinner than the ones on top there, uh, now what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is going to fill in the negative space, so this turtle shell is covered, I'm going to fill that in, And I'm gonna fill. Once I fill that, I'm gonna do what I normally do, which is I throw a, a dark line through the outer contour. This one comes in front, so I'm trying to make that line as dark as well. I want that to show this coming forward. I mean those lines a little bit too thick up there. Thing. Everything you talk about is doable. Oops. I'm sorry about that. Um, I was actually thinking, like, uh, I was saying a random thought. Everything uh, I'm trying to talk about, I want to do, you know? I want to not, like, I don't want to uh, say I'm going to do something and not do it, you know what I mean? Uh, that's just kind of like, kind of a drawing note. Sorry about that. Kind of wigged up. So, that would be the uh, kind of outer contour. I think it contains the shapes, I think it makes it look nicer. And uh, so now let's gonna start the coloring, and I'm gonna use the navy blue here, and I'm gonna color in the shell.
Whoops. Let's knock some over over here. Pushing down pretty hard. The navy boot is close, the closest thing I found to this. I don't think it's quite dead on color wise, you know what I mean? But it is the closest thing I found that I have on me. Um, should have throw that there. I'll do this to make it kind of hide mistakes. That's another thing is fixing your unfixable mistakes, you know? You're trying to just kind of hide them, kind of brush them under the rug. And now we're going to take the black. I have the black colored pencil and I'm going to kind of throw a little bit of just to throw a little bit of dimension here on the bottom parts, throw a little bit of kind of like a slight sh cast shadow. Same thing here. This portion is white. This far end as well. Do the same thing for the uh, spikes. A little bit. And uh, I'm going to go down here and use a cream. And I was worried about this. I was afraid of this particular color, whether it would even be visible. But I'm going to try to fill it in and see if we can see it well enough on camera. Because it looks pretty close to white, although it is starting to work. I didn't want to use a full-blown yellow because it is more of a cream color. That shell, you know, the bottom of the shell, that particular shell. Yeah, shit comes out. Comes out alright. And, uh,. That's pretty much it. That is a shell. If you want, you can throw a little bit of dark down here, you know, but uh, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I do have some surprises coming up. I have a, a store that's going to be actually donating some art supplies and uh, I'm probably going to have a little contest and uh, I want you guys to give me some ideas for what kind of contest you want. Maybe an art contest, uh, obviously, something related to that, but uh, anyways. I appreciate it. Talk to you later, guys, and I'll see you soon. Keep playing Mario Kart. Actually, let me ask one last question. What character do you guys play as in Mario Kart? I play as Metal Mario all the time, and Zelda. Anyways, that's about it. See you later, guys.